Well, that made short work of that plastic. <laughs> it certainly, uh, it just, yeah, broke off, not a problem. Um, these wires, they threaded around there and they went up the handle. And the reason they went up the handle was because that's got an on off switch. Sorry, on off switch there. So that's why the cables went around. But you've just got cables at the moment, all there. That's the tube that feeds the water. Yeah, we got all the electrics. And I got one screw. Let's take this screw out. This is to do, um, you know, when you've got the, ha the handle on it. Um, like that. Well, this part, that's the dial. Um, so that must regulate somehow the heat coming out of the iron. So let's just take this last screw off. Yeah, come on, off you come. All right, let's start ripping everything off. And that it's got a, some form of uh, steel in. I am really unsure what these red. If I pan it in, it'll probably go blurred. There, there, there. That's where the electrics went to. Okay. Um, so what's happening in there, I don't know unless I just batter it to bits. Let's see. Yeah, there's a touch of... Yeah, there's a lot... There's steel in there. Um, I might have to take it to bits, but so far that's where we are. Now... We've got, as you saw, <laughs> as far as the iron. Um, I've made the decision, I'm not going to open it with an angle grinder. There is steel in there. There's some magnetic inside that, something magnetic. To go through all that, cut it off, cut everything off with an angle grinder, it's not worth it. I'll put it in steel aluminium, basically. Um, but that is the one from, excuse me, that is the one from this, um, this particular machine. But the uh, normal one is, yes, you've got to do a bit of disking. On there but I don't remember it being as much as on there I'm not gonna waste the disc um, I'll just trade it in as it is see what they give me um, it's the same as <coughs> I think this came out of a boiler that's copper stainless steel I'll just be interested in um, what they'll give me for that so that's another one mixed but uh, I think that's as far as we got with uh, taking the iron apart. So we're just down to the cable, um, which I'll take apart. Um, interesting about a normal iron, that is aluminium. All that. Okay, I've had to cut some bits off. But that is aluminium. With this one, yes, it's aluminium there and all the surrounding, but not inside. But the face of it is stainless steel. That is aluminium. You can see, yeah, one's shiny, one's, yeah, hasn't got the same patina. That's the word for the day, patina. Um, so that would be 
stainless steel if I could be bothered to take it off but I, I, I just I think I've gone as far as I want to with this so um, yeah but any iron um, vandal vlogs as I said you will need to disc it um, if you just put it in as an iron I don't know um, maybe some people will leave comments and say uh, what their local scrappy gives them whack off as much plastic as you can obviously and just leave the bare essentials the wire and the wire inside isn't very good it's um, it's basically low grade there's no point stripping it the only cable to strip is the um, cable yeah going from the plug to the uh, the machine so yeah old one you got to do a bit of uh, angle grinding this particular model um, yeah just put it in see what your local yard says aluminium steel see what they give you it's quite a bit of weight on it so it's a few pence um, so the next thing I've got to do is strip the wire down and we will measure how much copper um, wire we'll get and I'll put everything into piles and I'll weigh it and we'll see how much we get uh, time for the weigh-in not as spectacular as I thought and also I don't know which cable um, the mains cable that went to the wall uh, was originally from this machine it could have been this one I, I don't know um, completely forgot about uh, stripping it so yeah basically you've got copper in there how much it's worth pennies but it all adds up and also <coughs> I did get some copper from um, inside of the cables yeah not much so that's the copper that you would get out of the cables this and you've got the plug as well for the brass and everything but um, the rest of the cable wasn't very good I call it low grade okay I'll bring you down so I've got the scales Hopefully this will hold on here. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to get some form of container. Um, let's put all the cable on. Which surprised me with the, the brown, the blue. I know that red, black, grey, white is usually low grade. Um... 150 grams now I'm not sure the price of low grade cable it can vary from 35 pence to 65 pence so that all goes in low grade cable so if we say that's if we take the lower end the spectrum and we say 15% of 35 pence <coughs> we're basically looking at around five pence for that cable the copper that I got out um, that was in there is just micrograms I'm gonna put it on my sleeve so that you um, can see it but at the end of the day it all adds up it all goes into the pile and that's all that I got of the copper that was inside um, yeah part of the thing so I'll put that in solid um, brass I'll put that on now and of course we had all the wires with all the fittings and you know being connected here and there 68 grams call it 70 grams um it's two pound a kilogram so 
uh, half a kilogram would be 500 it's pennies basically that we're looking for oh and the plug say we took that up to 100 grams that's 10 percent of uh two pound 20 pence in brass okay so we'll take that off and we'll put that in brass what are we up to now we're up to a, a magnificent total of 25 pence uh put it in the brass I did get um, one fuse out of it and of course the ends are brass and the, I believe that the the bit of wire that goes through the middle is silver. If I'm wrong please um, correct me in the comments. So I put all the fuses in a box and then I'll just crush them up and then get the ends off um, as and when. We got three LED lights from it. Um, they can go for gold and silver recovery for somebody. Um, we got a couple of other things off the motherboard. I'll put that in there so somebody can make use of that. The steel, uh, let's put this on here. There is, yeah, just bits and bobs, really. Um, nothing to write home about, which I was quite surprised about. So we'll just put it on here. Now, bear in mind, I think it's five, six pence a kilogram. Oh, that's gone off. six pence a kilogram for s steel at the moment so that's at zero if i take it off 90 grams we'll call it 110 percent <sighs> half a pence right so we're up to 25 and a half pence at the moment oh this is great if you're after it for the money Oh, my box is getting so full. I'm going to have to empty it for a new one. Or put a new one there, should I say. Um, so that's 25 and a half pence if you're after the money. And then we are left with the iron. And I'll just balance him well that way. That's about 600 grams. So, whatever they give you for, it's not a lot. If that's going to be aluminium and steel mixture, say, I don't know, perhaps they, they'll give you like um, five pence or six pence a kilogram. Um, so, we're not even up to 30 pence at the moment. Um, now... Right, okay, that's everything weighed, and I will show you now the waste. Right, I've got all the waste on here. So, <laughs> plastics, and everything that you see here. And everything that's fallen is plastic. That's the hose, it's plastic. It all goes all this. That is plastic. The whole lot of it and I will try and zoom you in get you down a bit more that is the waste all of this 
all of this. What can you say? I'll bring you back up. And I'll zoom you out again. There we go. So... Oh, with a cable that um, I forgot to strip that goes into the wall. Let's round it off to 30 pence that you would have got for that machine if you were after the money. Um, but the waste... Oh, what can I say? It's just unbelievable on so many products. Um, I have done some research on it. Um, not very encouraging, but there are signs that things are happening, but it's not good. So, that was, uh, what was it, an express steam iron. And if you're doing it for the money, and you've got the time, as a hobby, you get about barely 30 pence. I'm not sure what that is in America. Uh, probably about 35 cents. Um, Canadian dollars. I'm not sure. Because you wouldn't even meet, uh, make a dollar on it. I don't know how many cents it would be over there. But let's just say. It's not a lot. If you were doing it for the money. But for me. That was really interesting. Um, how I'm going to edit this into a video that makes sense because I've had to do this over a couple of days um, due to me being up in the night not being able to smash and yeah take things apart um, I'll try and make a, the video I, I can't exactly say short because there was so much going on but I'll, I'll do my best to make it um, viewable shall I say but yeah if you love plastic you'll love taking this machine apart but um, it was interesting and it was also interesting seeing the inside of the iron compared to a normal iron as well so all in all I'm pleased they took it apart um, I did enjoy it, and it was just something that I've never really seen come across before, and definitely never scrapped before, so, um, yeah, that's the inside of an Express Steam Iron. So, if you see one, I would probably say, just cut off the cable and the plug, forget everything else. <laughs> and just move on <laughs> but if you like me who, who I just do it to see what's inside and how everything works um, if you want to take something apart that is like oh gosh that leaves there 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 pick it up but if you are in it for the money just snip the cable take the copper cable and the plug and that's the best that you can uh, do. So, uh, yeah, I hope it was informative. Something I haven't seen before, as I've said. And um, I enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully, now that you have seen one, you know, you can make a choice. Do I take it home and then do, just take it all apart? Or do I just take the cable and the plug? Um, at least you know now what is inside one and you can make an informed decision about uh, whether to take it or not so uh, all that work for if you're after the money for 30 pence roughly um, yeah you decide but I enjoyed myself so uh, yeah and we've all had a gander now what's inside so all's good so stay safe stay well and I will see you on the next one. Bye.